Many others that were apostles, leaders in the early church, some of which their names have been changed in scripture. Because we understood, we thought, oh no, there can't be women apostles. In fact, were you to add to scripture or take anything from it, would be added to you the plagues that are written in it. Stand upon my feet Where the word he broke my chains I was free to breathe again My life was saved by the love and blood of Jesus What was fascinating to me is growing up I always saw the blonde hair, blue eyed Jesus mm. yeah. Right? And now I go to a black Catholic church and Jesus is, is brown. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I think you, it seems that you took such great pains to do that in, in this and to portray him as he probably likely was since this was the Middle East. Yeah. Right, most people don't know that. And he's also Jewish. Mm -hmm. You can use the name in the midst of this culture that just sees Jesus as, as a good man and good teacher and good prophet and is glad to hear the sayings of Jesus next to the sayings of Gandhi, next to the sayings of Muhammad or whomever else. But shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. Made in God's image. Yep. Made in God's image. There are no but except for. There's none of that. No. Keep that in mind when you're trying to figure out where you stand as a human being, let alone a Christian. Empty promises of the world had forsaken me. Left me in a wilderness. It was Jesus who rescued me. Ready, set, go. Peter says, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man is standing before you well. What does that mean? Once I turned to Jesus and I realized how he had changed my outlook on life, not just softball, but understanding how much I have to live for, and that's living to exemplify the kingdom. And I think that brings so much freedom. And I'm sure everyone's story is similar, but we all have those great testimonies that have really like shown how awesome it is to play for something bigger. And I think that's just what brings me so much joy. And no matter the outcome, whether we get a trophy in the end or not, we're, this isn't our home. And I think that's what's amazing about it is we have so much more. We have an eternity of joy with our Father, and I'm so excited about that. And yes, I live in the moment, but I know this isn't my home, and um, no matter what, my sisters in Christ will be there with me in the end um, when we're with our, our King. And if you know anything about Jesus, you know that he welcomed lepers. He welcomed prostitutes. He welcomed the least desirables among us in the society at that time. I was in church. I was in church on Easter Sunday and our entire homily at St. Charles Borromeo here in Harlem was about Jesus and about how he got up. He died for everybody, right? That means everybody going to heaven, right? Everybody going to heaven. Like he, that's it. That's it, man. I'm going to go to the strip club tonight and throw 20s on a thong. Because I'm already going to heaven, Jesus died 2,000 years ago. That's not how it works. 
they hide behind religion because I said this on this show once before. Jesus would be the grand marshal at the pride parade. I don't mean I about really, gay really people. I mean in that. every argument we have. But here's the religion. Religion. Here's, here's my religion. Here's my question. But it's wrong. Mm -mm. So the prostitute, he didn't go say, hey, make sure you add two or three more dudes to your next prostitution uh, event. Make Do a threesome next time. Don't just hit one dude. Do three of them. Jesus didn't say that to people. Um... <laughs> but stop lying on Jesus. Talk to Jesus. It's another thing when Jesus talks to you. Exactly. Okay, well, that's different. I mean, that's different. <laughs> that's called mental illness, if I'm not correct. But no, I, I I'm think, hearing voices. You know, Joy, as a it, it, as, as person was to come to me, I will pray for them that, that they can overcome the mental illness that they're experiencing. You know, I, I just think that does when when everything is you you are saying Jesus is. I think every in the, even in the Bible it says do all things in moderation. So anything that is too much is concerning. Hero Israel, the Lord Lord thy God is one. That's the first greatest commandment. The second one is to love your neighbor as yourself. If you hate your neighbor, then then you can't expect for God to, to accept you in heaven. And so for them oh. to be. So hypocritical in the name of Jesus is blasphemy. And by you the way, be ashamed by the way, of he spoke life to the prostitute for her to change. You can scream, you can cuss, you can do all the things that you say, but you know what? Gay people are here. They're not going anywhere. There is nothing you can do. People should pray that you correct, because let me break it to you, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies. A woman will never be a man. I am so angry about this because they are misrepresenting the message of Jesus. They are misrepresenting Catholicism, Christianity. But All right, she going to hell. Straight to hell. Gasoline thong on. He came and gave me rest. He gave me peace from my troubles. Oh, Lord, I have been blessed. Oh, Lord, I have been blessed. Uh, everyone knows Jesus was a Jew from the Middle East. We're not in seventh grade. You're not blowing anyone's minds here. Go and sin no more. If you are not born again, you will not enter into the kingdom of God. Period. That's not me. That's Jesus said that. A man is much greater than I. That's what it means to be a good parent. The culture changed. The culture changed. The culture changed.